What's up y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janiyah Aliyah here with another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I did the highly requested little cornrow parting method um, that I posted on my TikTok. And so that's what I'm going to show you guys today using my nice mannequin ebony. And hopefully this tutorial helps some of y'all kind of get a picture of exactly what I did on my um, cornrows and how I kind of parted my hair to get the small knotless braids that I got. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So first things first, I like to have a good, nice braiding gel handy. And so that gel that I use is called the Lock-In Gel. Um, it's pretty, it's on the expensive side. It's probably like $19.99, but it does what it's supposed to do. So I can't be mad at it. And so I just use that to kind of ensure that all of my parts are neat. Now, of course, by the time you get to all of your parts and get to braiding, you'll probably have to apply more gel. But this is really just to make sure that all of your parts are straight. And so basically what I do is I kind of do the best I can with like parting out the section that I want, then go through and spread gel on the part and I go back through to part it again. And so if you're doing this on yourself, the thing that I do is I just use the rat tail end of the comb and literally try to get it as leveled as I can and just go in a straight line across the back of my head and I just go from there. I try, I try not to stretch too much on like ensuring that my lines are straight in the back of my head because as long as they straight, nobody's going to trip if it's three degrees crooked. So yeah. And so from there, I kind of just perfect my part as I can, maybe comb out any um, flyaways or just any hairs that aren't supposed to be there. Um, and so this method is really good no matter what braid size you're going to do. Of course, it comes in extra clutch on the smaller braids because a lot of times it's hard to make sure each part looks fairly similar. And so this is a really good method for that, but you can also use it on bigger, um, bigger braid sizes as well. And overall, I would say this method takes about 20 to 30 minutes to do, but I can literally guarantee you that it saves hours. So I much rather put in this 20, 30 minutes beforehand, than have an extra two hours trying to figure out these parts or just trying to part as I go. So yeah. As y'all can see here, I'm going ahead and I'm just doing a little horizontal cornrow like across the head. And so for my girls out here who made it very clear that they do not have a cornrow, braid, anything like that. Listen, if you know how to flat twist, you can flat twist this and put like a rubber band or something on the end. Um, and you can also literally just twirl your hair like along the where the cornrow would be and put a rubber band on it or band to knot it like literally you can do this style or not this style but this method is so versatile even if you can't corn roll don't trip it's just have an open mind there's so many ways you could do this but all right y'all that's really all the information there is to give when it comes to doing this parting method just stay tuned like as i'm braiding the rest of the braids so y'all can see exactly what i do how many braids i do because i know y'all be wanting all the details and don't worry i provided them so with that being said y'all stay tuned through the end of the video because i will show and tell you guys how, exactly how many braids i have in my head and also show you how this parting method of course came out on my actual braids and so thank y'all so so much for tuning in hopefully this video helps you and i'll see you in the end
Okay y'all, so here's the final look for how I parted my braids. And so as y'all can see, I guess y'all can kind of count the rows. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Like, oh wait, no, six rows going all the way across. And then there's six rows once you kind of get to like the center part of your head. And so that's about it on how I parted my hair. I guess I'll show you guys like the part so y'all can see how it looks on my head. And so basically from there, when you're actually going to go through and do the braids, all you have to do with your comb is literally just draw like a vertical line each time you part. And it can be as big as as small as you want it to be. I wouldn't mind it to be really small, so I literally just part it kind of as small as I could braid basically. And so let me go ahead and show y'all how the parts are looking on my hair. And so I know I got this question um, pretty often about just how many braids exactly I have in my hair. And I kind of tried to count them the other day but kept getting off track. But um, I'll just go ahead and say that it's somewhere around like 90, 92-ish. I won't say over 100 because I did uh, count at least half of my head and that came up to about 48. And so if the other half was done correctly then I would say it's anywhere between um, 80. <laughs> What's the math? anywhere between like 86 and about 92 so hopefully that's not too much for you guys if y'all need any other tips or help or anything when it comes to doing this style definitely reach out in the comment section and just let me know because i'm down to do a tutorial for whatever it is that i know how to do and y'all want to learn so with that being said thank y'all so so much for tuning into this video and thank y'all so so much for y'all support on all the videos i've had done on, i have done on this style you already know click smash smack that subscribe button down below and i will see y'all on my next video